Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you are going to learn a very cool layering trick in PowerPoint. The trick is this one. We are going to show you this image of a cheetah jumping through a hoop. Now when you see this, normally if you were to move one image over the other, either you can move it above the image or you can move it behind the image because they are in two different layers. It is not often that you see something like this one where the cheetah moves through the hoop which is actually through another object. So one object is moving through another object. And this is a very interesting trick and it can be used quite a lot for various concepts like moving through obstacles, moving through um, stumbling blocks and things like that. Let us see how we can create this beautiful effect from scratch and uh, to make it easy I have got this cheetah ready, ready to jump through the hoop. Now all that we need to do is to create the hoop. For this let me go to auto shapes menu and under basic shapes I am going to choose this tool called as donut tool. While holding the shift button I am going to draw a big circle. I don't want the hoop to have this much width so I am going to hold this yellow handle and move towards the edge so that reduces the width of the donut. Now this looks good enough. I am going to have a black color for this one and remove the outline just for aesthetic purpose and nothing else. Now I am going to apply a 3D effect to this one. So right click format shape and if you are using PowerPoint 2013 you will see this pane coming, uh, pane opening up or if you are using PowerPoint 2010 you can see this dialog box opening separately. Either way the function is just the same. Let us go to effect options and go to 3D rotation. The effect we are going to apply, the preset we are going to apply is under perspective and it is called as perspective contrasting right. So I am going to click on that one to get this. Now if I were to move this over this you can see it is still not really doing the way it is supposed to do. That is this image, this layer is on top of this picture. So naturally cheetah is not moving through the hoop. If I were to send it back and move still it doesn't seem to make any sense because now cheetah is above the other layer. Now we need to make sure that we have this cheetah moving through the hoop. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and cut this one. Go to paste, paste special and paste it back as a PNG image. You can see here this is the second option here and I'm going to click OK. Now this is the image and we're going to do one small trick that is I'm going to take a line and just to make sure you know, that there is a perfect division of this in two halves I'm making this one. Now to make it sure that it is perfect half arrange align and align center. Now this is right in the middle this line is right in the middle and that is going to guide us to crop this. I'm going to hold both of them together and control D to create a copy. The first image I'm going to crop from right to left right till the middle wherever the line meets. Done and I'm going to remove the line. The second thing I'm going to move from left to right right where the line meets and I'm going to remove this. Now there it is. I have this piece and this piece. There is one small thing I'm going to do which is I'm going to send this piece the one on the right to back send to back. Now I'm going to put this right next to it. Now you can see this is at the back and this is in the front. So just to make sure that it is in the front so go to bring, bring to front. Now when I move this cheetah it moves through this because it is in a layer between this one and this one and therefore sorry and therefore this moves through the hoop. So that is where it is. 
Now let us see how the animation plays because I have just used a very simple motion path animation from right to left and let us see and there it is the cheetah is jumping through the hoop. Isn't it cool? Now this is one way to show moving through the obstacles and it is a very common concept in many business presentations and let me show you how you can convey the concept of overcoming obstacles, moving through the obstacles and things like that. And the example templates I'm going to show are from our PowerPoint CEO packs. The first example is this one. You can of course add animation to uh, make this a little more dramatic. You have various attempts shown here by way of arrows and there is one attempt that seemed to have succeeded. And you can talk about what are the various attempts that we try to um, overcome the current issue and which is the strategy that succeeded and things like that. Let me show you another example. This one shows passing through the filter. You can give an idea. I mean, this filter can stand for anything. It could be um, the legal issues. It could be the um, compliance issues and how you are able to find a solution that is legal and compliant and yet are able to get your way through. Let me to show another example. This one, there is no need only to pass through the obstacle. This is a very creative solution where you are jumping over the obstacle and you can see here an executive jumping, walking above the obstacle and it is a permanent one. So it is a solution that is created to overcome the obstacle at a systemic level. Let me show you the last example. This one, if you were to take this um, gorge as obstacle, here is a way to jump over the gorge, the obstacle. So going beyond the limitations. So as you can see here, there are many ways you can visualize one idea. And if you go to our CEO packs one and two, there are more than 1,600 such stunning PowerPoint charts and graphics templates for busy business presenters like you. Some very useful and very innovative concepts are visualized in such a way that you don't have to spend time rethinking about how to visualize your idea or recreating the slides with all the effects. You just choose the template that matches your thought and especially when you have more than 1600 fully editable charts, you have very high chance that you will find a template that matches your thought. You replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on the PowerPoint layering trick. And this is the first of the two uh, part series and I'm going to show you another uh, trick tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.